Okay, I'm back and welcome back to uh, Horizons Mod Pack. And uh, as I just left off, I had this going. So let's see. One stone has already been melted down. It took quite some time for it to melt down, though. But there is one bucket of lava, tank, 1,000 of 64,000. So this can hold 64 buckets of lava or an entire stack of stones worth of uh, lava in there. So I'm just going to leave this going so it uh, produces a bit more lava for me. And now that I have the silver, I should be able to set up my... Uh, to actually make this item. The magnetostatic engine. Hopefully. So I have lead, I have silver, I need a redstone reception coil. Uh, redstone reception coil needs gold and a couple redstone bop bop and uh, does it have to be work, work table? yeah has to be on the work table now hopefully this silver actually works please work because <laughs> it's going to suck if it doesn't yeah there we go just need one of these down there there and there the recipe does say it needs uh, the actual... Oop, got that backwards. Ah! It does work! I was kind of worried because that wasn't flashing to the different types of silver. But it actually did work. Magnetostatic engine! Here we go! Aha! Now, I have my magnetostatic engine. So, I also think I am going to, uh, Let's see now. What can I do? Um, hmm. This has power in it. So I think I am going to move this and put this down right there. Hope Is it going to be charging? There we go. That's going to be charging and I'm gonna, just going to let that output all that power into there so I can move this over just a little bit. That way I can have enough power going into this. So how are these doing? Ah, just needs a few bits, a bit more redstone. So how many is that? Three more, so six more redstone. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should be enough. There we go. And done. There we go. Now I can pick up all of these and replace them with these better conduits. Just like this. Ah, yes. So much more efficient. These can actually transfer all the power I need. And now that this is done, I can move this. Shift move this. And, uh, shift move this. And I'm going to put this redstone reception coil right here. Change the output so it's actually outputting over this way. Uh, huh. So it should be outputting, right? Right? Is that working? has no power going into it though. Uh, let's put the uh, dynamo back down. Put the lever down next to it. Put this bucket uh, hardened portable tank on top. Shift it and see if this is actually outputting. Yep, it's charging. It's charging. Ah, and it is outputting. There we go. So that is the output color. Everything's going into it. Should be charging everything up. So, now I just need to get some lava. This has two, hun two buckets worth. So I think what I'm going to do is grab some liquid duct, which I should have some. Yeah, there we go. Fluid duct, not liquid duct. I'm going to put it right down on top of here. Put it into this... Oh, it needs to be on top of this tank. 
Not there. Here we go. And I need to turn this. There we go. That should be filling that up. Right? Is it working? Ah, I think it's working. So that should uh, keep pulling out all the lava that this makes. And uh, it's lava going through. Well, let me try turning this off so it doesn't output. There we go. Now this should start filling up once it has uh, all these machines filled. Uh, <laughs> a bit of frame rate lag right there. Uh, once it has all these machines filled, once all these redstone conduits are filled, this should stop outputting, should start charging. I mean, only one magmatic dynamo going like this is not going to charge it very fast, but it should at least work. So yeah, that's the basic setup. And uh, I'm going to have to build a few more magmatic dynamos but once this starts filling up and gets uh, close to being full, I can hook this uh, uh, magnetostatic engine up. I think this is the input. Let me take a quick look. Yeah, there we go. I just need to put the another uh, conduit right there going into the back, fi going into this which should this should be the output so I need to build a uh, diamond gearbox but before I do that I need to make some lubricant which means I need to build a grinder okay well I uh, got all the materials I needed I melted down some more uh, steel got all that stuff done and here is our grinder finally got the grinder now what we need is the grinder as well as some power for it. Now I think, yes, there we go. That is the uh, input. And it takes, I think, uh, let me just look into it. It needs to have uh, 128 Newton meters of torque and 4,000 watts. Yeesh, I hope that's enough. I have this uh, industrial coil, so hopefully that's enough. So it needs uh, how much? 128 newton meters. 128. There we go. Now I just need a uh, lever. Do I have a spare lever anywhere? I got this one. Just grab it real quick. See if this is going to work. Is it working? Uh, do I have the power set up right? Red. Red. Insufficient power. And, uh... How much is it? 1024? There we go. Looks like it's working. I bet I could towel that down a bit. 300. I don't want to waste all the power. There we go. Now I just need to put some of these seeds in there and that should grind it down into lubricant. Hopefully. Is it working? Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Give me some lubricant! It can hold 4,000. How much does each seed give you? 73. Ooh, that's not very good. Uh, I hope this isn't going too much. Uh, that's not going down too fast. That should be able to keep uh, keep it going. Canola seeds. Getting all this lubricant. Now, while that is grinding away, let's put together this gearbox. Because the uh, magnetostatic engine has a max speed and a max torque of 2048 and the um, 
uh, extractor needs 8,000. <laughs> 8,000 speed at its fastest. It needs 8,000. So that is a uh, that's going to need a bit of a uh, gearbox work. But luckily, at its max torque, it only needs 500. So if I can set that magnetostatic engine to go at 2,000, 2,000 with a 4 by 4 to 1 gearbox, that means it will reduce the torque by 4, or it reduce the torque by 4, and increase the speed by 4. So the, the uh, torque will go down to 500, and the speed will go up to 8,000, if I've got my math right. So, what I need is a mount, which is that, and I need to do that in a, sh a normal crafting table. There and there, here and here, diamond gears. Aha, there we go. So I just gotta put this together, I think, in here. Work table, yeah. Right there, right here, diamond gearbox 4x1. Very nice. So, I just gotta put this down right here, move it till the green is right at the magnetostatic engine. Make sure that's up to max. And before I put this in, I need to get a bucket's worth at least of a. Uh, let me uh, dump out this water. Can I. Is that a bucket's worth? There we go. Bucket's worth of lubricant. And how much is that? Aha! Full of lubricant. One bucket's worth was enough to fully fill it up. So one bucket should be enough to uh, at least get everything going. Aha! Very nice! I finally, finally have everything. Now if I've got this done right, let's take a look. 4x1 gearbox outputting 0 watts and 0 rads. So I think you can change this up by shift right clicking with your wrench to uh, get it to either increase the speed by 4 or increase the torque by 4. I won't know until I actually have this engine running which one it's actually doing. So what I think I'm going to do now is, uh, well what I have to do now is wait for this to fill up with power because this is going to drain a ton of redstone, a, a ton of redstone flux, and uh, yeah, this is a, this is just gonna, <laughs> this is just gonna drain that entire thing very fast. So I'm gonna have to wait for this to fill up before I can start uh, extracting anything. But while I am waiting, I'm gonna take another beveled gear along with the extractor, which I already put together which uh, if you want to see the recipe it's right here just a bunch of redstone a bunch of a uh, steel a drill which is even more steel impeller which is even more steel and more steel <laughs> and netherrack and all that kind of crap so if I have this set up right if I have these the, oop, I think I just grounded myself if I have these uh, the uh, ratios right I just need to put this down here and uh, change the orientation to yellow and blue. Check this. Input green, output red, and I should be able to put this right here. Out the input on green coming from right there. Okay, well, now I just need to run a uh, fluid duct from over here which I don't think I have enough room of uh, fluid ducts huh damn it I'm gonna have to make some more fluid ducts. okay well I uh, went in there made some more liquid du fluid ducts and uh, ran a line all the way down here got this filled up as uh, as I mouse over it, you can see it has 16 buckets worth of water in it and I put this down with a lever so all I have to do is turn it on now while I was making the uh, I took a break to make the fluid ducts I real I uh, realized that uh, this was just filling up 
way too slowly, so I went ahead and made a second magmatic dynamo, which is a good thing I did, because even with two magmatic dynamos, it's a, a bit of frame rate lag, but yeah, I'm getting it. It's still filling up very slowly. But yeah, I wanted to make sure I had enough energy in this cell to get it a good run, to get it give it a good run because this is going to drain a lot of energy when I turn it on. So yeah, uh, it has seven million RF in it, and uh, in order to make sure make sure this had enough lava to keep both of these engines go these uh, dynamos going. I did switch it out for netherrack instead of just normal stone, since netherrack in the rock melter gives you two buckets per block. So, I've been sitting around AFK waiting for this to fill up, and uh, let's give it a try, shall we? Okay, now I have this set, once I turn this engine on, to go at 2048 and 2048 on both settings. I think I have this set up right to uh, decrease the torque and increase the speed for this 4 to 1 diamond gearbox. I have everything feeding into this, into the extractor. So the only thing left to do is turn it on. So let's see, 2048, 2048, 4.194 megawatts. This is outputting. And this should have Z Z Z Z. Come on. Yep. Full torque, full speed, and full power. So let's put one. Yeah, there we go. It should. Let's go through the entire process. Oh, only got one out of that one. Each of these steps, I think I've said it before, but each step is a uh, its own little process and has a chance of doubling whatever the whatever is created so one ore can become two items here and each of these can become two and each of these can become two and each of these can become two so if each one doubles which for some reason that one didn't double at all let me put in a bunch and see how well it does but yeah the end result is ore flakes and uh, you can take these ore flakes and put them in a normal furnace and oh there you go the ore iron ore dust just doubled into two ore slurry and through only one uh four three oh doesn't seem to be uh duplicating oh that just gave me two ore solution so I just put in seven. So uh, let's see how many we get in the end. The end. In the end. And ooh, we got some aluminum powder out of it, which is another thing. Not only do you get the uh, ore flakes. Uh, is that a little zombie baby? Zombie baby, go away. Not only do you get the ore flakes from the uh, ore you're uh, extracting. But you also have a chance of getting uh, extra powder out of it, of it as well. So, so far I have eight ore flakes and eight ore slurry waiting to be done, as well as two ore solutions. So already that's more than what I would have gotten out of the pulverizer, and a hell of a lot more than I would have gotten out of uh, the smeltery. So let's see, I've gotten 11 so far. That's 17, 18, 19, 20. That's 20 ore guaranteed, 20 ingots guaranteed out of that 7. Plus all this extra aluminum powder, which is very nice. It means I can, uh. And there's still a chance that this, that any of these could double and any of these could double as well. So from those 7 ore I put in there, I've gotten more than double what I would have gotten. More than double my ore. So, yeah. That is very nice. This is what I was working for. Unfortunately, the sheer 
power usage. I mean, look at this. I started with 7 million, wasn't it? 7 million? Now I'm already down to 4. So yeah, I think I'm going to dump all my iron in there, a full stack of iron, get this uh, extracting all the way down, and try and uh, get as much out of this as I can. I mean, look at this. 22 ore flakes so far with 5 more left to go. So, yeah, already this has made it all worthwhile. I mean, yeah, this is going to take a lot of energy to keep this going. And two magmatic dynamos is definitely not enough. I probably need at least eight, maybe even ten magmatic dynamos fully powered. And one rock melter is not really enough to keep both of these magmatic dynamos going. So, yeah. Even with the uh, netherrack and two buckets per netherrack, it's not really enough. So I probably am going to have to build at least five of these total with five engines powering them to keep at least eight or nine of these magmatic engines going. Uh, okay, well, what I think I'm going to do now is use up what's left of the energy in this redstone energy cell to get as much iron as I can so I can make all the stuff I need because I'm going to need a lot more iron to make more steel to make more rock melters and more steam engines so yeah uh, thanks for watching I think I am going to just sit here wait for this to extract down then put stick it all in a furnace and get back to building stuff so yeah Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Bobson. This has been Horizons Mod Pack. And until next time, whatever next time happens to be, uh, I'll probably do a bit more work and a few more episodes on my Let's Build of my uh, Star's Reach building over there. But until next time with this and more of the Horizons Mod Pack and Rotary Craft and all this stuff, I will see you later. Bye.